In Baton Rouge, we're so used to Mardi Gras parades rolling every year, it can be easy to take the artistry of the floats and throws for granted. But every one of those big, fancy floats has a story. Stories of passion, dedication, and sometimes family. It turns out many of those floats come from one parade and float company over the bridge in Plaquemine. Even if you haven't heard of Komogo Floats LLC, you've probably seen its floats at parades in Baton Rouge. It provides its floats to several of the city's biggest parades and crews. Oh, we'll start off with the uh, crew of Ocean in Baton Rouge, which is only a couple floats. Then we're gonna be going to Artemis, which is like 23 floats. Then we got Mystique, there's like 13 floats. Uh, the same day as Mystique, we have Addis and Ascension. Como and his brothers also rent their floats out for LSU events and one of Baton Rouge's largest parades, the annual Wearing of the Green Parade. After the last beads are thrown, Komogo brings its floats back to the facility to get them ready for the next event. Komogo Floats boasts 41 floats in total this year, each one decorated by hand. And it's such a tall order, the team starts construction on the next year's floats almost immediately after Mardi Gras. We have one artist from New Orleans, uh, Rene Pierre, who does all of our painting. Oh, we got a um, thousand bulbs from Texas, gets all our LED lights. We got specialty lights that come from all sorts of places off of Amazon, so. Komogo has casino floats, a train float, trolley floats, and cartoon floats. Some of them are as tall as 16 feet. This thing here is so big that it broke the seal. We gotta try to fix it. But while Komogo floats get scattered at parades across the region during carnival season, there's one night you can see them all during the crew of Komogo. The night parade rolls in Plaquemine on Lundy Gras, which this year falls on Monday, February 12th. The float company was born out of this parade, which has been rolling in Plaquemine since 2013, and it all started as a family dream. That's my sister. She's the reason why we're even doing this. She always wanted to have a nighttime parade in Plaquemine, and she tried to get one together in the 90s, and she couldn't do it. When well, she passed away from cancer in 2009, uh, Rhonda Howell formed the crew, Crew of Camogo, in our honor. Me and my brothers, Daryl and Ralph, were not involved at the time, and they came to us to ask us to get involved with them. So we did, and I told them, I said, if we're gonna do this, let's get a parade, let's, let's do what she wanted to do. So we got enough members, and we got a connection in New Orleans, and we rented some floats. I think we had 11, 12 floats maybe first year. In 2014, the Comos decided they needed to make their own floats for the parade. From that point on, Earl and his brother Ralph have handled float construction and rentals, while Daryl manages the parade itself. Over the years, they've accrued a full-time employee, Cedric Chaney, and some part-time employees too. I would like to uh, do it at least 10 more years for myself, and hopefully somebody in my family will take it over. My daughter's been involved a lot, she's helping out. So hopefully one of my sons or my youngest son or my daughter or one of my grandkids maybe. In fact, the float business has grown so much that this year's 40 plus floats barely fit inside the Komogo Floats facility. Walking through them is like squeezing through a maze. They're packed in. When you got that many, you gotta pack them in though. We've been here since 2014 or 15. It really worked out well, it got us growing, but we've outgrown this area. So we need more space, so we are building new buildings off of Bellevue that will give us a lot more room to operate with, we hope. Until the next Mardi Gras. If you like this story, don't forget to subscribe. Here on 225's Between the Lines, we love to dig into the cultural stories of the 225 region, just like this one. If you have any ideas, leave a comment.